So here we're given this word problem. And whenever I do a word problem like this, I always like to write out what we're given when we read it. So let's go ahead and read this. So we're told that a painter will paint and walls with the same size and shape in a building using a specific brand of paint. The painter's fee can be calculated by the expression n times k times length times h. And so where n is the number of walls, so let's write that n equals uh, number of walls. K is going to be a constant with units of dollars per square foot. So K equals dollars per square foot. And we can represent that by um, feet squared. And so length is the length of each wall in feet. So L equals length uh, of wall. And then H is going to be the height of each wall in feet. So H equals uh, height of wall. And then it's asking us, if the customer asks the painter to use a more expensive brand of paint, which of the factors in the expression would change? And so we have all our variables here as our options. So let's go by each one and then decide whether or not it works. So if we do N, so N is the number of walls. If the paint is going to be more expensive, is that going to change the number of walls we use? And so if you think about that, it wouldn't make sense, right? Because if we do a more expensive paint, like let's say the paint goes from 4 to $8, does that change the number of walls? It doesn't really have an impact on it. So that one wouldn't make sense. So N is going to be off the board. But what about K? K is going to be uh, dollars uh, per square foot, right? So if we go from like 4 to $8, right, this is just arbitrary. But it's going to make each square foot more expensive, right? Because we're changing the dollar amount per square uh, foot, right? So that one would make sense, right? So this variable would change um, if we got a more expensive brand of paint. So K seems like it would work, but let's uh, look at the last two. So L is going to be the length of the wall. So if we get a more expensive brand of paint, does that change our dimensions of our wall? That wouldn't really make sense, right? Uh, because it's only changing what we put on the wall, not the actual wall itself. So L doesn't make sense either. And then H is basically going to be the same thing, except for it's just the height. Um, the height of the wall isn't going to change if we get a more expensive brand of paint, only uh, the cost for the paint, right? So H doesn't make sense. So it seems like K is going to be the only answer. So the answer to this problem is going to be C.